Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we are going to talk about logistic regression. This technique can be used to solve classification problems in machine learning. So let's get to it. Before we dive into logistic regression, let's review the linear regression that we covered in another video. We covered linear regression by predicting a company's sale. We had some data, marketing budget and sales amount, then we fitted a line to it. First, we determined if the budget and sales are correlated, and it turns out they are, as the change in the budget had a direct effect on sales. We could use the line to predict the sale for a given budget. For example, if the budget amount is 200,000, then we can predict that the sales amount will be around 14 millions. Based on the budget amount, we can look up the corresponding sales value. Keeping this in mind, we built a linear regression model that made sales prediction using this technique. Let's talk about logistic regression. Logistic regression is similar to linear regression, except that logistic regression predicts whether something is true or false. So instead of predicting something continuous like sales, we predict whether something is true or false. If we try to fit a straight line, it would miss most of the data points. The logistic regression fits an S-shaped logistic function. Let's dive into Jupyter Notebook and see how we perform logistic regression. I have my Jupyter Notebook open and at the top I am importing the required libraries. Make sure you have these libraries installed prior to running this code. Complete Notebook along with the data set is available on GitHub. Link is in the description below. First, let's import our data. We are importing an Excel file with the help of pandas read Excel method and we are saving it to a data frame called df. Let's print the data frame to get a sense of the data. It's a simple data set containing user information. We will try to predict whether a user will make a purchase or not using the gender, age and income variables. So the outcome will be 0 if no purchase is made and 1 if a purchase is made. Also, instead of fitting a straight line to the data, we will use logistic regression to fit an S-shaped function. S-shaped curve goes from 0 to 1. And that means the curve tells us the probability that a user will make a purchase based on the user's attribute. For example, if we have a user between 35 to 55 with a median income of over 90k, there's a high probability that he or she will make a purchase. On the other hand, if the user is between 26 and 35 and the income falls in 71 to 90k, then there's a higher chance the user will not make a purchase. Although the logistic regression tells us the probability that a user will make a purchase or not, it is usually used for classification problems. Let's dive into the code and develop a logistic regression model. To prepare the data for a logistic regression model, we will drop the user ID column, age and salary groups. And we can see the gender variable is a categorical column. So we will go ahead and convert this to numeric. We will create a new data frame called X and this will contain age, gender and salary columns. We are dropping the rest of the columns from the data frame. This is our X or independent variable. For dependent variable or y, we are saving the purchased column from the data frame into a variable called y. Our data has different values and even different measurement units. It can be difficult to compare them. For example, what is age compared to salary or gender compared to age? The answer to this problem is scaling. We will scale data into values that are easier to compare. For this, we will use standard scalar to scale our features. Now it's easier to compare negative 1.78 to negative 1.49, then 19 to 19,000. Let's go ahead and split this data set into train and test data set. So once our model is ready, we can train it and test it using the test data set. We will use the train test split from sklearn for this. This function gives us four different data set, X train and Y train, and X test and Y test. With the data set ready, we can create a logistic regression object 
by calling the logistic regression from the linear model. It is saved as the model variable and let's call the fit method and supply it the X train and Y train data set. Once we execute this code, our regression model is trained and ready. Let's test our model. We will use the test and train accuracy of the model by getting the model score. Our test accuracy is 86%, which is good. We can try different parameters to increase the accuracy. Another good test is the confusion matrix. It helps us identify how many correct predictions we have made and how many instances we have misclassified. I have this image here that helps me identify the true positive and true negative, meaning that we have classified these correctly and false positive and false negative. These are the instances where we have misclassified the values. This is all on the logistic regression. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.